Alright, what's going on guys? My name's Chopper. Now, today I'm going to talk to you guys about my main concerns for Infinite Warfare Zombies that's going to be coming out in the fall. Now, I could go into another video talking about all the nitty gritty details that I'm concerned about for Infinite Warfare Zombies, but today I'm just going to focus on the main points and things that I kind of want to address before we actually get our hands on the game. A couple of days ago, we got this picture released for Infinite Warfare Zombies, and everybody's saying it looks cartoony and stuff, and you guys will recall back in the day, it was actually a couple of months ago, we got another kind of teaser for it, and it showed like a, a kind of like a movie role, and it looked similar to this. It was like a movie film, and it looks like this is going to be set in the 1980s from what we can see. This is a very 1980s-esque looking uh, artwork, and so was the other one. So um, from what we know, this is going to be set in the 1980s, which is interesting. A lot of people were, you know, worried it's going to be set in the future. is going to be like all this uh, kind of like exo-boosting or chain movement crap in zombies that we don't want. And I'm actually pretty happy they decided to go this route, not go too far into the future. Now, 1980s isn't like super like late past, like in Treyarch Zombies. We're kind of focusing on World War One and World War Two for most of the aspects here. But in this, it looks like it's like 1980s, which really wasn't super long ago, which is going to be interesting to kind of see how they can work with that time zone. Let me know what you guys think about being it in the 1980s. I think it's interesting. Do I think it's going to be like, you know, maybe the best time setting? I don't know. Let's see what they do with it. You know, I'm going to give Infinite, Infinite Warfare a chance. I'm going to give Infinity War the chance to make zombies pretty cool. And we can't say that the game is good or bad based on the time zone, but until we actually get our hands on the game, which will be coming out in November. So the next main concern I have for this, besides, you know, just the time zone, is the fact that they're trying to re create a new zombie storyline so you guys know back in world at war when zombies was first invented nocturne and tone did not really have a storyline they were just it was like an extra bonus mode that they kind of threw in there at the end of the campaign just for fun but people absolutely loved it so they started making dlc and that's where the storyline came from but the zombie storyline and where it is now took absolutely years to develop it didn't just come out you know one time in world at war it didn't just come from the dlcs it took years to develop where we got to you know we started from world at war a very basic storyline then it kind of got a little bit more advanced new characters were introduced in black ops 1 then black ops 2 kind of introduce a bunch of different you know different crews and that started to elaborate things then in black ops 3 is where it really got elaborate now they're trying to tie everything together from world of war to black ops 3's dlc 4 that's what we're going to kind of try to wrap everything up that's another thing that dr Monty's for that's a different video for a different point time but basically the point of the video is that they're trying to wrap everything up and the storyline did not happen overnight like this look they've been telling the story for about seven to eight years now man it's been a long time since they have been you know developing the story developing characters and getting attached to these characters now infinite war Warfare is going to be trying to make a new zombie storyline. They're going to have new characters, a new crew, a whole new backstory for everything, trying to recreate what Treyarch did with this original crew and with this original story. The thing is, I don't think it really works like that. I don't think you can follow along Treyarch's storyline and try to make your own. I feel like it's going to be like the watered-down version of this storyline that we fell in love with these past couple years that I've been following since World at War, and they're going to try to recreate something like that. I feel like they're going to try to develop something, but I just don't think, I think it's just going to be secondary to Treyarch Zombies. Like, it's going to be cool, maybe, if they can, you know, work it and make it kind of sweet, but it's not going to be anything like Treyarch Zombies. It's not going to be as in-depth or elaborate. We have some crazy people over at Treyarch who put, you know, their heart and soul into making the storyline, making elaborate different Easter eggs and everything like that. It's just, I don't think Infinite Warfare, I don't think Infinity Ward is able to compete with that. I really don't. So I think the storyline is going to be like a more watered-down version of a attempt to be Treyarch. That's kind of what I would put it into words as. And that segues really well into my next point, which is there was a description for Infinite Warfare Zombies. Zombies. And in this description, it's that there is going to be Easter eggs for the players to find. But let's go ahead and think about this real quick. An Easter egg is something that the developers put into the game for the player's amusement. It's something hidden that we have to find ourselves, and they don't even come out and tell us at all. It's just something that we happen to stumble across, and it's for our amusement, right? That's what Easter eggs started out as back in World at War. You guys remember Doris? When you shut that little concrete pillar in the back, and then those things came up, Samantha started talking, and you played the hide and seek game, right, with the teddy bears. That was an Easter egg. That was something hidden, and that was just kind of for our amusement. And then Easter eggs eventually developed into basically main quest lines and I've talked about that in a different video but I'm not really sure if I agree with that being called an easter egg but they said that there's going to be easter eggs in the game but I feel like that's that's wrong if they come out and tell us there's easter eggs then they're no longer easter eggs Does that makes sense basically what we can tell from this is that there are going to be quest lines quote unquote to this game there's going to be boss fights most likely and it's going to try to mimic Treyarch Zombies easter eggs you have to do you know obscure tasks to get to a boss fight that's what I'm thinking this is meaning right now one of my last main concerns is the advanced movement or the chain movement system in zombies now black ops 3 got it completely right in multiplayer it fit because i kind of liked the chain based movement system in multiplayer that wasn't really too bad um i know some people can kind of disagree about that but i thought the chain based movement system was okay in multiplayer and it fit in zombies they kind of brought it over where we each have the slide mechanic which is a lot more practical than the dolphin dive or the penguin dive i used to call it it's a lot more practical than that we had the slide mechanic now the e 
115 DM slide, but I don't know if they're gonna actually put chain-based movement system in zombies. I really hope not, since, like I said, it's gonna be set in the 1980s. I really don't think that they would do anything. I hope it's gonna be a regular boots on the ground experience. That's really all I can say about that. We have we don't have really any gameplay details as of yet, which we should be getting updates soon, and uh, I'll let you guys know about that for sure. I'll keep you guys updated and all that sort of stuff, but those are pretty much my main concerns. My last thing I just want to talk about is I just really hope it doesn't try to mimic Treyarch zombies in terms of Easter eggs, gameplay mechanics, and whatnot. I know, you know, Exo Zombies really did try to mimic it, but it was just kind of like a watered down version. There was a bunch of different weird names for the bonuses, like, uh, what was it? Uh, Max Ammo was full reload and then double points as multiplier. I really hope they don't do something like that. If you're going to rip Treyarch Zombies, at least just go all out with it. Call Max Ammo, Max Ammo. Call double points, double points. Insta kill, you know, the same name and so on. Just keep everything the same if you're going to rip Treyarch Zombies. If not, make your own thing and just make it unique. So those are my main concerns for Infinite Warfare Zombies. Now, we're going to see how it actually plays when we get it in November, and I will be playing a little bit early at Codex P, so I'll let you guys know exactly how it is. I'm very, very excited for it. Honestly, I want to see what they have, you know, up their sleeve. I want to see what Infin Infinity War has been working on for these past couple of years. So, when the Infinite Warfare drops, like I said, guys, I will be live streaming it the day of, and we will be playing some zombies on Infinite Warfare, which should be a lot of fun. So, I'll let you guys experience it with me as well. But anyway, that's going to be it for today, guys. Once you get more information, I will update you on this, and uh, that's going to be it for today. Guys, make sure you do hit that like button if you did enjoy this. Let's go for 60 likes on this video. That'd be awesome. Thank you all for watching the video. Make sure you do subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.